In today's episode, I want us to work towards getting to being able to build the mine. So that's the plan for the episode. Basically, if we scroll down on the uh, technology here, you can see we need about another 600 points, 550, whatever, in order to unlock the mine at 5,000. And uh, we're also getting close over on farming to unlocking the cow shed, which is down here. And we're actually a little bit closer to that. However, you might remember in the last episode, we planted this massive farm that you see here behind me. So we're going to be harvesting that in the new season. And when we do that, that's pretty much going to, well, it may, may not get us there, but it's going to be a big chunk of it done anyway. So I figured we'll do the more difficult thing and we'll actually get on with uh, doing some excavation activities because that's going to help us. Uh, excavation and building. Now, we found this huge clay deposit just behind here. So I think this is going to help. What I'm kind of interested in, so 404, wait, 4,442.7. So if we like mine out one of these things, these are obviously clay deposits. Um, let's just do that. There we go. So we've got seven clay from that. That went up to 4,443.8. So we'd have to mine quite a few of these. However, the clay will be useful for different things uh, as we're progressing. And also you do have a chance of finding treasure. The thing is, we're really just going to have to do all the excavation activities that we have available to us. So things like this and then mining and cutting down trees and stuff like that in order to keep leveling up. We do, as of course, have the option as well where we could build things. But the problem is I don't really want to just build stuff for the sake of it and then take it back down. And there's nothing really coming to mind at the moment that I want to build apart from the mine and the cow shed. <laughs> so we're kind of in a bit of a bind. Oh, OK. These are wolves. I do remember there being wolves here. You know what? Last time I went and got weapons and I came back and they were gone. Let's see this time whether we can get our weapons together and then come and fight them on camera. I think it'd be kind of fun and exciting for you guys to see. Plus, I've actually never fought a wolf before on here myself. So, yeah, I'm going to have a good retreat plan just in case as there are a couple of them and I'm guessing they're pretty quick. But hopefully we can just one shot them with a decent bow. I guess let's find that out together. Alrighty, in terms of weapons, here's what we've got. We've got the bow, so let's go ahead and get that equipped in there. And then let's put all this on uh, just the weapons, actually. Now, I think our best arrows are going to be the poisoned iron arrows. Damage of 60 plus 37.5% of poisoning. So let's put those in there. We have eight of them, which isn't too bad. And let's also put this in here in case it gets to that point. Now, what I want to do is get my bow equipped. Because unfortunately, you can't shoot the bow whilst up on uh, your horse. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Now, that wolf over there has not yet seen us. So let's go ahead and uh, can we equip the bow now? We can. And I'm guessing I want to be in first person for this. So let's give this a go. So we're going to pull this back. Okay. And we want to aim just above him. I really want to hit because I feel like hitting is a really important thing. About there. Okay. So that did hit him. It did not kill him. He's just looking at me. Why is he not coming over here? I don't know. But I'm kind of glad... Hey, dude. Um, is it because he's poisoned or something? Okay, I need to, like, hit him at least more than once, right? I mean, come on. Is it, are, they, are none of these shots landing? Am I really just this bad of a shot? Also, why is he not coming for me? Okay, now he is. All right, so let's get on here. Uh, just because we're out of stamina. We're going to run away. <laughs> this is a bit of a an option, right? The retreat. Just while I get my stamina back, I've got the cudgel to fight him up close. But I need a bit of stamina to do that. Um, where, where did he go? Okay, he's just down there. Now, there is a friend of his just down there as well, which we could try and shoot at as well while we're here. I think that one might have hit. I'm not actually sure. Okay, okay. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, where's my horse? Whoa. Okay, run, 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 run. Okay, unfortunately, I chose winter to do this. They really blend in well during the winter. Um, now, I probably should have zoomed in before doing this shot, but it's okay. We'll try a shot in third person as well. Probably about there. Yeah, there we go. We definitely hit him there. Okay, so we are, we are getting some hits here. Um, I don't know where the other one has gone, though. That's what's worrying me. Oh, my goodness. He's just down here. He's just down here in the bushes. Okay. Hey, dude. Um, why are you not coming up to attack me? That's what I don't get. All right. You know what? Let's try giving him a hit with this. Where is he? Here. Uh, oh, my goodness. All right. I'm going to run away. I really don't like doing this in third person is what I'm discovering. Uh, yeah. Okay. We definitely need to run. Okay. Come on, horse. Come on, Eclipse. Don't fail me now. He is taking damage. He's bleeding, as you can see there, because we've landed a few shots on him. So hopefully he'll just bleed out in a minute. But for the meantime... We need to get away from here and just kind of heal up a bit. So let's run away. Man, these things are, uh, yeah, they're tough. I'd expected them to be tough, but uh, maybe a little bit tougher than I expected. I probably should have brought some of the broadleaf plantains with me to heal up while I'm here. Okay, I think he just went down. He did. He's down. So we've got one down here, and I'm not sure where his mate is. Um, but let's see. Let's go ahead and just, like, skin him while we're here. Then we'll get our arrows back as well, um, or at least one of them, I think, that's sticking out of him there. And we can see what we actually get from the wolf, which is 10 meat and 4 fur. Really not a lot when you think about it, uh, like how difficult they are to kill and stuff. But maybe realistic, I don't know. Uh, now, the other wolf was down this way, so I'm just trying to find him. Let's see how we go. Okay, a bit worrying, but I'm not sure where the other wolf has actually gone. Can't actually uh, see him now. So, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. 
I guess we just keep looking out for him. If we see him, then, yeah, we can try and take him down. As I say, it's winter, so it's not the best time to be looking for him. But uh, I'm not, not seeing anything as I'm looking around here. We have got a lot of arrows, though. We should probably go and pick all these up while we're here and, uh, you know, just get those back. I suppose there's some like, right here. Oh, there we go, right there. I'm actually thinking the other wolf may have just bled out somewhere because we definitely got a hit on him. So, you know, they do over time just bleed out. Maybe that's what happened, and he's just some random place now on the floor where we can't see him because him moving around, he was difficult enough to see. But if he's just lying on the floor somewhere, he's going to be pretty camouflage. Um, so I'm checking for all my arrows and stuff, but uh, not really having much joy in finding him. But at least we're getting some of our arrows back, I guess. Anyway, for now, I'm just going to carry on with these clay deposits, just harvesting all of these and uh, getting our excavation up. And then we'll do some more excavation activities until we've unlocked the mine. And then we can build that one, hopefully, in today's episode. We have now exhausted the uh, clay pile around here. And from that, let's have a look here. How much clay did we get? So 83 clay. We did not find any treasure. And our building technology is still 44.58. We're quite a way off. So I think uh, we'll have to try some mining next and see how we get on with that. Of course, it's not just about the technology. We are getting the resources each time from this as well. Um, but I, I can't really think of a better way of doing this. Um, you know, say maybe building stuff we could potentially build. I will have a think if there's anything our town could do with or is going to need soon. So it would sort of make sense to, to build. But nothing is immediately coming to mind, so uh, it's going to have to be extraction activities in the meantime. Anyway, we're about halfway through a season, so if we do a bit of extraction uh, of the mines, then we can do it all again in the next season. Um, well, usually I get down the waterfall a little bit better than this, I'm not sure what happened here. <laughs> but yeah, that's the plan, I'm just going to give you updates along the way until we get to... Oh my goodness. Um, Alright, we're good. Um, oh my goodness, that is uh, that is the quickest I've ever seen a horse get up. How, how is he? Are you okay, dude? He's going to be hurt. How hurt is he? Oh, he's not too bad. They're pretty resilient, these horses, which is pretty good for people like me who like to ride them down waterfalls. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get on with doing that mining, and then we'll see how we go next. Um, I'll just do a big mining trip and then see where we're coming at. So 44.58, let's see where we end up. All right, guys, it is master plan time. <laughs> so what we're going to do here, the cave that's right next to our town, I've already pretty much exhausted it in the last episode. And uh, it hasn't been a season change yet, so there's really not much going on there. So you've got me thinking about other things that I could do, and here is the plan. Basically, we're going to head over here to near Skalki, and just near there is a cave. And in that cave, there is, first of all, a full cave, because it hasn't been harvested by me. Uh, and second of all, there is actually iron in that cave. So every time we go in there, we can get iron. What I'm going to do is build a resource storage near to that cave, because the building points are what we need anyway. So in building that it will uh, actually be useful in terms of getting us the points, which is like the whole point of the episode. Uh, the other benefit to it is it will improve our amount of storage, uh, which we will need later on in the season. Uh, oh, everybody needs water. Okay, I guess I'm heading back and sorting the water first, but I'll continue t talking you through the master plan while we head home. Uh, so yeah, storage is something you're going to need constantly throughout the game, so having more of that is never a bad thing. And the final thing that it's going to do is give us a resource storage then outside of Skalki. So in the future, if we're trying to sell a lot of stuff, we can put it in our resource storage and then go to and from there rather than having to keep coming all the way from here and back each time. So there are actually quite a few benefits to it. Once that resource storage is built, we can then do the mining and that'll be another thing that's going to help us with the extraction points. So all up, we're going to get quite a lot of benefit out of doing this. Now, I won't bother time lapsing it. I'll just show you once I've built it, how it looks and stuff. Then we'll go do the mining and see how close we're going to get to actually unlocking this thing once all that's done. The resource storage is now built. And if we go onto the map right here, we can see where we're at. So basically, the resource storage is here. The mine entrance is there. This isn't as close as I would have liked to have gotten it. But if we look up this road here, uh, it's pretty hilly on both sides. There's not a lot of space. So we didn't actually have much choice. We just kind of had to build it in here. So uh, that's why it is where it is. Uh, now we're going to go and do a bit of mining. Um, let's see. I do have my pickaxe on me. Yep. So we should be good. Uh, incidentally, my building technology is now 4,500. So we're getting there slowly but surely. We're, we're building up. Let's go do this mine and we'll see what we can get out of this. The good thing, of course, is we are going to get a bit of iron out of this mine. So that'd be a bit different to the last one. And I think overall, I think this one's bigger. I've only had a short go through this mine once before. And I don't think I've ever actually mined it as such. Maybe I got like a bit of iron out of it or something. But yeah, we'll have a look around anyway. Let's see what we can see and see how we do and how we advance on with our te uh, building technology, I should say, once this is all done. As you can see, we just got a new extraction level right there. And I thought I'd do this on camera with you guys and see what we actually want to spend that on. So we've got a few different things here. Let's see what we want to go for. So I think we're going to finish off this one here. Let's press F there. We've got a 50% chance now to get extra resources from deposits. That sounds really, really nice to me. We'll get more stuff from it. So uh, yeah, I think that's a good one. And that's what we'll go with. We didn't quite mine the entire cave in that area. But uh, if I go down to iron right here, 
You see, we did manage to get 29 iron ore, which is pretty good. It is now turning nighttime, so what I thought I'd do is actually go and sleep, but that is going to take us through to a new season. So what that means is once we've slept, we're actually going to need then to start getting on with the farming because it's going to be spring. We have a very large farm, so I want to get that done straight away. We need to do a lot of harvesting, first of all, and then after the harvesting, we need to do some replanting of the uh, flax, which is the next thing we're going to make there because at the moment we've just been growing uh, some rye grain, which you would have seen if you watched the uh, previous episode. So that's what we're going to do, uh, and uh, that might mean that actually now we end up unlocking the cow pen before the mine, if I go to my building technology, almost 4,600, so 400 to go on that one. And uh, on the farming technology, about 300 to go. But obviously, that's what we're going to be working on next. So keeps it exciting, at least. <laughs> but that's basically what it's all, all about today. Just building up my stats on those two areas so we can unlock some new builds. And either way, I'm pretty excited because they're both cool builds. So that's the plan. Let's uh, get on with some of that and then come back in. I mean, at some point in the future. I don't know when. I will bring you guys back in. When something interesting is going to happen. <laughs> all right, guys, we've hit the new season and some exciting things have happened. First of all, our farm is ready to harvest. That, of course, we knew would happen. But what we didn't know would happen is with our animals, if we go over to them, we've got another new horse born, guys, a filly right here, which sells for 1175 the same as the colt, as they are both uh, young. So we have that option available and we might need to take it because you see here my taxes, 6,300 almost. And that is a lot. If we go to our inventory, we do have about 6,000 on us, so we probably only need to sell one of them, but we may need to do that uh, as part of this season. And it does surprise me taxes are that high with the 10% off, because, uh, yeah, they were like like half that, I thought, in the previous season. Uh, but there we go. Anyway, something to keep working on, and I'm trying not to take any damage, and I think I didn't. That's cool. The other thing I wanted to do is go check on the orchard while we're here, so let's take a look up there, because uh, there may well be some growth here now. I'm not sure if the trees are grown or the hops might have grown, but let's I mean, this looks promising. The trees are the biggest they've looked. So let's see. Is there anything ready? Okay, it doesn't look like it. The stuff has grown a bit, but it's not yet ready to harvest. It's a bit of a longer-term investment, I guess. Seems the hot plants are also not quite ready. So that'll be one for the future. But there we go. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is get my farming gear so we can do that. And actually, while we're here, let's get on to uh, Eclipse. And she can help us get around a bit faster. Obviously, uh, carry a lot more as well. So yeah, we'll go and get the uh, farming done. And as I say, that will probably get us pretty close then to the uh, correct farming level we need in order to build the cow thing. Um, that's how our house looks, by the way, from down here. So it looks pretty cool, uh, lording it over the rest of the town. <laughs> so uh, yeah, nice little spot for it, that's for sure. Okay, the harvesting is now done. You can see we've got like 2,100 of the rye and uh, our farming technology, let's see right here. Oh my goodness, we're so close. All right, so hopefully when we do this, we're actually going to be where we need to be. So let's go ahead and do that and see. All right, so that is done. Farming now, 3414. Okay, we're getting there. We are getting there. Uh, we do need to put all this stuff down on the floor, though. So let's see, what do we get out of this? We got a load of straw out of this, which I don't even need. I don't even need the straw. I don't know why I did this. Um, but we got all the rye grain out of it as well, which, wow, 4,000 rye grain. I mean, we probably just sell all that, right? We probably literally just sell all of that, and then we'll be able to pay our taxes. So for now, we're just going to store everything up in here. Um, I mean, 4,000... Even if it sells at like half price, that's 4,000 times two. That's like 8,000 worth of rye grain. I mean, yeah, that's good. I mean, now I feel a bit silly for our, like being annoyed about my taxes because clearly we can more than afford this. <laughs> but there we go. Now, do I have the hoe on me? No, I didn't think I did. Right, I shall go get the hoe. I shall start hoeing the field. And hopefully by the end of that, we're pretty close to it. If not, we're going to plant it. We're actually going to do all that stuff anyway. Even if I hit the uh, cow shed and unlock that today, we're still going to um, keep the, the farm going and do the flax harvest because um, that was to set our sower up for a very long time. She's one of the 13 things that's going on over there in the top left of my screen um, where she needs more materials and stuff like that. So we're going to get that happening. I will say it does look worse than it is because although it's saying there's 13 things, that's not 13 people that are not productive. Some of those are buildings like the well that are just saying there's no one working them and stuff like that, even though we don't want anyone working them. So yeah, it's not as terrible as it looks, but it is something I'm keeping an eye on and looking to fix. Uh, oh, do we not have any no bronze hose left? All right, we've got to go make up some bronze hose. Uh, that shouldn't be too much of a problem, though. We should have plenty of uh, bronze. But I think what I've done is put it over at the uh, actual smithy. So let me go check that, and we'll make it something up. Actually, I should probably take some logs with me so we can do that. Um, but let's take maybe 10 so we can make up a good load of those. Okay, so for the bronze hoe, we can actually make up 10 of those, which is fantastic. I will make them all up um, because we'll need them at some point, and we've got farmers and stuff as well that will use them, so we just as well. Very good. 
Now, I think that's probably all of my bronze bars used up there, is it? Oh, no, we did have a couple left. Okay, that's cool. Uh, all of my wood was used up. Okay, let's put those back in the resource storage, see if that changes anything. And whilst we're there, we'll grab some animal feed, because I've just noticed that. That'll be the chickens or the geese that we need to feed there. I keep feeding these chickens and the geese, and I don't have anyone, you know, working them, and I'm not collecting the eggs myself, so... We're really not actually getting anything out of them, and I'm starting to wonder whether or not we keep them. I really like them walking around the town, uh, so, you know, maybe we should keep them. Uh, let's see, let's put like eight of those back in there and uh, grab some animal feed out. 25 animal feed. See, this is the thing. It's like we're starting to run low on animal feed, and uh, we're wasting quite a lot of it. Let's see if that 13 goes down. Now I've put the hose in. I don't think it's going to, but it's always worth a look. Um, but yeah, any thoughts on the chickens and geese, guys? Some people have said in previous comments, uh, previous episodes and stuff, maybe I just sell them. And I could, we could sell them, we'd get a bit of money from them. Like if I go on to the animals right here, uh, let's see, like the chickens for example. So you can sell like the adult rooster there for 15 and the adult hens for 33. So that's the problem, right? Like yes, I can sell them, but really is there any point? You know, we sell three of the adult hens, we get 100 coins. Uh, it's not that great. I think what I need to look to do is start automating more of their resources in the future. And somehow it's actually gone up to 14 things that are wrong now rather than <laughs> the... Uh, uh, where's the goose house? Yeah, it's gone. Oh, it's up to 15. Okay, so basically nobody's working. Yeah, this is definitely a bit of an issue. Um, but uh, I've just got so many things I'm doing. I'm trying to do too many things at once, I think. But uh, there we go. I forgot we actually need to fertilize the field before we can hoe it. So that's my bad. We're going to go down now and get some of the uh, fertilizer and uh, a bag as well. And uh, well done, horse. Honestly, I break that horse's leg every time we come down here. And she's still going strong. Good old Eclipse. <laughs> Been quite the noble steed indeed. So... Let's go in here. Let's get the bags. Uh, probably should get a few. Well, 73. Okay, we should be right on the bags. Uh, that's because I've got people making stuff that I just do not need. However, actually, just look at this. They sell for 80. I mean, that's not bad, right? So if we get 40 for them, like 40 coins for them, then every 10 is 400 coins. I mean, that's actually pretty good. So at least with that, we can sell it. Uh, what else do I need? I need fertilizer. Do I have some of that? I have a little bit. I have a little bit, but I'm going to need a lot more than that. So hopefully there's some manure in here waiting for me. Oh, yes, there is. 266. All right, we turn the manure, and we actually, we can do that up in the new barn. We'll turn the manure into fertilizer, put it with the rest, and uh, we're just trying to cross that finish line of the, uh, what is it, 5,000? No, 3,500, right? 5,000 is the mine. I keep confusing them because we're working on both at the same time. <laughs> anyway, let's get to work on that now. All right, guys, new farming level there, and we actually got an achievement for that. We're now farming level of 10, so uh, let's go into the farming section here. And uh, let's see, uh, now gaining more experience for farming activities is something we probably should have done quite a while ago. But let's uh, double check like what other options we've got available to us. And yeah, I mean, look, to me, it's got to be this one right here, right? Let's just do that. Uh, it's an extra 5% uh, of the experience. Oh, what? I have another one to spend. So this whole time I could have been, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's see, we can get more stuff out of orchards. That is kind of cool. More carrier weight for our ride is also cool. Hmm, I'll have to think about this one. I think what I'll do is go for this one right here, the Night Rider, because we do spend a lot of time riding around on our horse. And if that's all going to be quicker, that's going to make us more efficient for the entire rest of the game. So I think that's pretty good doing that one. I was tempted to do the orchards, but we've only just got started on them, really. And uh, I think we're going to have a lot of stuff uh, like I've harvested from them ahead of time when we get to doing things like the tavern and that where we really need it. So I'm going to go for that for now, but potentially in the future, I think the orchards will be the next one to look at. And there we go, guys. The new building has been unlocked, the cow shed. <laughs> My goodness. That definitely took a long time to do, but hopefully it's going to be worth it. I'm pretty excited to do uh, build this. And what I want to do actually is right away, let's go to buildings here, animal husbandry. There it is, guys, the cow shed. Oh, this is what it looks like. Okay, that's cool. So it's not like hugely massive or anything like that. And we're going to have a few options as to where we put it. I'm thinking more and more now, though, that I want to build it down by the town and keep this up here. It's just our own little farm and stuff like that going on. So let's get down to the town. In fact, we'll uh, ride the horse down there and see if there's anywhere we can put it. Now, after that, we're going to have to crack on a bit with getting this farm built um, because uh, it's, uh, it's taking some time. Obviously, it's a big farm. Still got some fertilizing stuff left to do and quite a lot of hoeing left to do. Then we've got to plant it all. Um, on top of that, we have to find a bit of extra money in order to be able to pay our taxes this season. So, yeah, there's quite a lot going on here, um, but it's all good. You know, it's all part of the game and that. We're going to be fine. We're going to be able to pay the taxes. The main thing is that I just don't forget to pay them. Now, if I'm going to do the cows, where would I put them? I mean, the natural place, I guess, would be up here somewhere. Oops, uh, somewhere next to the sheep and the goats that are going on here. Then we've got farms going all the way around in this area. The only other option, really, is if I put them around the back here. 
And it's not terrible, but these orchards are a bit in the way. They're not going to end up here, these orchards. They're going to be gone. So I think I'll leave that for now. I think I'll put the farm, uh, the cow farm down here. And I reckon we'll do what we did uh, in the past as well uh, with the goats and that and make this all one big enclosure. So that's the plan. I think like, I mean, I'm not going to place it down just yet. I'm going to think about this and stuff. But it's going to go somewhere around here, right next to the goats and stuff. So we'll figure that one out. One thing I would like to do is get my taxes paid so that we know where we stand with that. So I'm going to do some stuff here now to generate a bit of money. And I've got a load of wooden bowls on me. And I've got three and a half thousand of the rye grain on me as well. Uh, oh, actually, uh, that's a little bit too much. Let's put some of these back like this. And then we'll see what we can do here. And uh, yeah, so that's going to be the plan for today is just to get these taxes paid. And then we'll get back on with the farm. So if we go into porridges right here, you see we can make up gruel using rye grain. We can make up 144 of those. So I'm guessing these are going to sell for a, a decent amount, certainly more than if we just sold the rye grain on its own. Let's find out in four seconds. Okay, so the gruel there sells for 17. It used up two rye grain for each one. So we still have like 3,000 left, but this was just a more efficient way of doing it. We used up all of our bowls there. So uh, yeah, actually, did we? Or is there some here? Let me double check in the side of the horse. Uh, we do have 39 more. We just as well make them up. So let's grab those and put like those in there for now. I'll sort this out in a minute before we head to market. But that's going to be the plan. We're going to head into town, make a big sale of all this stuff that we've got here. Uh, so we can craft up, wow, another 39. That's actually pretty good. And yeah, once they're all uh, sold, then we can pay our taxes and see how much money we've got left to start the new season off with. And then, of course, we're going to focus on that flax field and get all that planted. And uh, all the flax there is going to be potential money. But the, the biggest thing for me that I want to use it for really uh, let's see if we take all those out. Can we handle that? Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, the biggest thing with the flax is that uh, we can just put a load of it into storage and then our um, our sewist, our sewing, our seamstress, that's how we say it. Um, I speak great English, guys. Yeah, she can then get on with stuff for a very long time. We don't have to worry about her. Then we can either use the farm for other things, which is tempting because if we go to the tech tree, I mean, we've just unlocked something, so uh, that's great, but we must press on, right? And the next thing, the apiary, I've had my eye on this one for quite a while. Um, I, for some reason, I quite like beekeeping in games. Uh, anybody else feel that way? And I've never even seen this in Medieval Dynasty, to be honest. A lot of the stuff I've, I've seen in the past that I haven't built, things like the mine or whatever, you know, I, I, know, I get the concept of that. But beekeeping, yeah, that sounds really, really fun. So we might end up uh, using that farm longer term. We'll see. Anyway, let's head into town and uh, get these taxes paid. Now, one of the biggest issues that we potentially are going to have here is actually going to be selling everything because uh, I don't know that there's going to be enough uh, people here to sell to. But let's find out. So is anyone actually in the market yet? Uh, looks like it. Okay, we'll start over here. I'll just go around and sell what I can. But uh, we'll just do the first one together because I just want to check something. So if I try and sell to you the gruel... Um, I can sell oh, most of it to you. Okay, we should be okay then. We do have a lot of seeds as well, but obviously they only sell for a very small amount each. Actually, that's interestingly, wow, 2.8. Okay, so it is over 50%. So if we sell a full amount of them as well, yeah, we're going to have a lot of money by the end of this, which is fantastic. I believe now I've exhausted every trader in this area. You can see we have almost 13,000 coins, which is fantastic. We have about 1,500 rye grain left as well. So, I mean, yeah, we're doing actually really, really well for money. And uh, as I say, we don't need to worry at all now about the taxes. Um, talking of which, let's go ahead and get those marks. We can see where the dude is. So track that quest. And he's just over here somewhere. So, oh, there he is up there patrolling around of uh, his town. So we'll get this paid, and that's another good job done. We'll have a fair bit of money left over, and we're going to need a lot of money. So uh, let's just go ahead and pay these taxes. Uh, great, that's good. We're going to need a lot of money because I'm guessing the cows are not going to be cheap, guys. And uh, so in the next episode, although we've done really well here, we might still need to focus a little bit more on getting some money and then making the uh, cow shed. Because, yeah, that's what we're going to do in the next episode. So, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys in that next episode.